Hey, welcome back, my fellow investors. It's me, E.T. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just a self-taught investor who likes to talk about ways to increase one's net worth. Now, today's video is going to be a quick one, but it's going to talk about the time value of money. Something that we weren't taught in school, but we should have been taught in school. So let's do it. Let's get straight to it. All right. The time value of money is nothing more than this here. Money is worth more now than in the future. Money is worth more now than in the future. If I would ask that question, some people would probably say money would be worth more in the future. Eh, yes and no. It depends on what you're going to do with money. This is why I say that. With money now, you only got three things to do with it. You can spend it, pay bills, spend it, buy consumer goods, whatever. You can save it, or you can invest it. Now, money, just money, in the future will be worth less. Not worthless, worth less. And that's because of something called inflation. Let me, let me explain to you what I mean. This is a picture that I have on my wall that I look at every day. And within this picture, there's a $100 bill. Above this, this is a fake $1 million bill. This here is a goal that I have, and I have a certain date in which I want to reach that goal. And if any of you watch my doubling video, you know that I'm at level eight in pursuit of this million dollars. But this $100 was given to me back in 2014. Now think about this. If that $100 bill was given, me, given to me back in 2014, and I have it here, basically, I didn't spend it. I definitely didn't invest it. You can look at that as really saving it and think about it in 2014 2014 do you think that hundred dollars i could have bought more with that hundred dollars in 2014 than i can today in 2021 yes that's what i mean by money in the future will be worth less well, that just keep that in mind keep that in mind so what am I saying here? Well, yeah, you're gonna have to save some money. You gotta have an emergency fund. You gotta be able to get to your money quickly and so forth. You gotta spend it. You're gonna have bills and expenditures and so forth. But the real solution to this money is worth, worth more now than in the future is this here. You gotta invest it. We need to start investing, doing it on a consistent, con uh, continuous basis. I don't care what you invest in, whether it's real estate, business, stocks, collectibles, bottom line, just take investing just as serious as you take spending money and paying bills. Take it just that serious. Nothing else. If you really want to get started in investing and you're going to say, well, how? I'm going to tell you, this is what I would tell everyone right off the bat. All right. First of all, you got to start educating yourself. And the very first book that I would recommend to anyone, it's a short read, and that is The Richest Man in Babylon. And the reason why I'm saying that is because he basically, way back then, was teaching the principles of becoming rich. And the first thing he talks about, and we've all heard it, is pay yourself first. Always pay yourself first. We hear it all the time, but how many people really do it? You're knowledgeable of it, but you're not applying it. So you have no power. But read this book. It goes over all of that. And one of the sayings that he has in his book is a saying that is really my financial philosophy. And I also have it in this picture. A part of all I earn is mine to keep. A part of all I earn is mine to keep. At a bare minimum, every time I earn some money, a bare minimum of that is uh, that I'm going to keep, that I'm going to 
either save or invest, more than likely invest because I have enough money saved, is 10%. 10% of all I earn is mine to keep. That's what he preaches in the book. And some of you are probably saying, well, ET, I can't afford 10%. Yes, you can. Regardless of your financial situation, if you decide to save 10% of everything that you earn, and everything starts with saving. You got to save first because what you're saving for, you're saving for a rainy day. And then once you have enough saved for that rainy day after that, everything then should go into investing. He teaches that in the book. Well, I have too many creditors. He also says in the book, and that we've all heard, go talk to your creditors, let them know. But one of his first priorities is the very first bill that he's going to pay is himself and it's going to be a bare minimum of 10%. All I earn, a part of all I earn is mine to keep. Keep that in mind. Hey guys, with that said, the whole premise and thesis behind this time value of money is the importance of investing. With all that being said, guys, remember, save, invest and apply what you know because knowledge is not power. If you don't use, if you don't apply that, you are powerless. The application of knowledge is power. With that guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.